Hey, kangaroos. I want to show you how to use the Nearpod drawing tools. Um, each week, we're going to use the Nearpod drawing tools um, and we're going to create art. So the Nearpod drawing tools are only a part of um, your activity. So today, I'm going to show you um, my instructions say draw your name using the drawing tools, decorate it using your favorite colors. Um, I'm going to edit that. I'm going to be very specific. Make sure you use two colors. So I'm going to add my name. I want to show you that there are um, a, the pencil down here. Sorry, there's a pencil down here. And I can grow the size. You know, you can make it act like a colored pencil. You can make it act like a larger marker. Um, you can choose these eight colors. Um, I'm going to choose navy is my favorite color, so I'm going to go dark blue. You can use these drawing tools to create designs like stripes. Um, you can use these drawing tools. Remember, I want more than one color. I also love, I like black. I know those are dark colors, but I like them. They're, they're dramatic. You can use them to create um, all kinds of lines. Let me finish that. I was about to change its size. Okay. Um, when I change its size, I'm going to add a third color. So remember I said, please write your name using these drawing tools. Now, you do not have to use the pencil one because it is quite awkward sometimes to get the lines correct, especially when you have a certain kind of handwriting and that's what you're expecting to see. <laughs> Here we go. And there's a type tool. So if that's what you prefer, there's nothing less artistic. Um, you're the designer. You can make it as interesting as you choose. Let's see what we can grow it in, in size. We can change our color. Let's do red so it'll stand out. Enter your text here. Um, and then, oh, can I move it? Mm, it's finicky once you do that. No. Let's see. So let's say I've made a mistake. I don't like where I put the red Mrs. Woods. So um, this is something extra. This is a new one. So I'm going to get rid of that. Notice this back tool. I'm going to click back. Oh, it took me back there. Back again. Oh, now I can take this and move it. So I got it stuck and I didn't like that. So I'm glad I clicked back, back and fixed what I wanted to fix. Um, I can still, yep, I can still edit the size. I can still change the color. Go back to red so it stands out. Um, from here, you can move it anywhere you want. There we go. Um, you can add a picture. I can upload an image um, from my computer. Um, it looks like I could search for an image. Cat. Nope. Nope. That one does not seem to be happy with me. Um, I can upload an image. Cat crazy. I had that ready to go. <laughs> that was from one of the earlier slides. Cat crazy. Here, it looks like he's peeking out from that side. We'll put him down there. And I can erase. So let's say I really just was disappointed with Mrs. Woods. I can go and erase. That's going to take a little while, but if that's what you want to do, you can do it. If you notice, you can make that the biggest eraser you can make it. Go a little faster. Let's say you're very disappointed and you want to start over. We have this one right here. Boom. Erase all. Are you sure you want to erase this drawing? Yes. Um, I want to remind you that you have access to the drawing tools. You have this one. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't talk about this one. This one is a highlighter which means it is a more transparent version of the drawing tool. So it's more see-through. Transparent means see-through. Here you go, my word. Transparent. That is more transparent. You just can't see it as well, um, which is more like a highlighter when you highlight over words. 
but you could use that for design as well. So drawing tools, highlighters, typing text, uploading pictures, erasing, back, redo, forgot to say that one, redo, I wanted to go back to the way it looked, transparent, and erase all, are you sure you want to erase this drawing? So what I'm asking you to do today is to add your name. I can go back and make this a little more fun. My first name is Emily. So I might want to do something what I consider a little more artsy. Sure, let's put it there. I can go back and use two colors that I really like to decorate it. Well, if I do that, I feel like I need to do a little more. Ooh, that was wobbly. I'm going to go back. I didn't like that line. I'm going to reduce the size because I feel like I'm getting it real layered up with lots of lines and colors. So I want to kind of make room for what's in my mind. But let me get that out of the way. I'm going to click down. Oh, that's not what I intended. Oh, good. It didn't stick. Okay, Go a little smaller. I am now, ooh, my computer's doing funny things. Notice what it's doing. I'm not holding that down. Okay, I think it has to do with when this is up. So I'm gonna start up here. Sometimes we have issues. That's just a fact for computers. There we go, now I'm in control again. Ooh, it's starting to look like a chicken for some reason to me with those feathers. Anyway, I have two colors. I have my name and I have decorated it. So that's what I am hoping to see from each of you. Please, as you click through Nearpod, do not skip and submit your lesson without doing each of the activities. You'll be missing out on the fun opportunities to be creative um, and to create digitally. Now, after this lesson, I'm going to have another task, or I'm sorry, after this um, drawing activity and this right here in Nearpod, I'm going to have another part to our lesson, which is done in your home um, with materials you have. So we'll talk about that on another video.